okay uh, now we will solve some questions on rational functions and complex number okay the first question uh, it says what is the solution set of 3 over x minus x minus 3 the whole over x square minus 3x which is equal to 4 so what to do let's try to factorize the second rational function here uh, because it can be factorized the denominator in something can be simplified here so we can take out x common when you take out x common what remain x minus 3 remain then uh, as you see x minus 3 and x minus 3 cancelled out and x should be different from 3 don't forget and also from 0 x cannot be 3 x cannot be 0 because now i cancelled out x minus 3 uh, the domain has to be restricted and then 3 over x minus uh, 1 over x remain which is equal to 4 now the two the denominator are the same so simply I can subtract the upper part 3 minus 1 will be 2 2 over x is equal to 4 and then by crisscross so 4x is equal to 2 remain if you are divide by 4 x is equal to 1 over 2 unfortunately uh, the answer is easier here so it will be 1 over 2, the solution set of this rational equation. Uh, the next one, uh, we are asked to decompose, decomposing or breaking down a given uh, rational function, that is 6x plus 8, the whole over uh, x minus 2 times x plus 1. The good thing, the denominator part is factorized and the degree of the numerator is larger than the denominator obviously because the upper degree is 1 the lower degree is the product which is 2 so this is plus 1 so everything is simple here it's okay I mean it's fine we can proceed to the next step simply we can write this one as a over the first linear that is x minus 2 plus b over the second linear x plus 1 which is equal to by crisscross I can write this one as a into x plus 1 plus b into x minus 2 the whole over x minus 2 and x plus 1 now next step since they are equal you know we can forget the base part and then we can have a in bracket x plus 1 plus b in bracket x minus 2 which is equal to 6x plus 8 then to get one of the variable we can make the a0 or we can eliminate this one by taking x is equal to negative 1 I can insert negative 1 in place of every x so when I insert this part will be 0 the first part here also negative 1 here also negative 1 I will insert so negative 1 minus 2 will be negative 3 negative 3b is equal to here uh, 6 times negative 1 negative 6 plus 8 will be 2 so when you divide by 2 by 3 by negative 3 both sides so the b value is equal to negative 2 over 3 okay uh, that is step 1 case 1 the case 2 we can take uh, x is equal to 2 to make the b 0 or to eliminate the b if I insert 0 here it will be uh, 0 and here 2 plus 1 will be 3a you know in place of every x I will insert I mean 2 I will insert 2 not 3 here also I'll insert 2 2 plus 1 3 3 times a 3 here also 2 6 times 2 12 plus 8 will be 20 then divide by 3 both side a value is equal to 20 over 3 so I have a and I have B means uh, finally the decomposed answer will be a over means the a is 20 over 3 in bracket x minus 2 because it's fraction plus the b value is negative 2 over 3 so I can write here negative 2 over 3 in bracket x plus 1 this is the way how we can decompose the main thing is finding a and b since the denominator part is linear factors next question sketch the graph it says sketch the graph of a given rational functions and then discuss its behavior so here uh, let us try to simplify again the given quadratic the numerator and the denominators are quadratic and let's try to factorize and write them as a product of linear factor so the function can be written as the upper part will be x plus 2 and x plus 3 
when factorized and the lower part will be x minus 3 and x plus 3 we can factorize it in this way uh, the upper part we can think of product and sum rule and the, lo the lower one is the difference of a square then here we can cancel x plus 3 with x plus 3 and finally what remains x plus 2 over x minus 3 don't forget at x is equal to negative 3 since we cancelled out the graph will make a hole at x is equal to negative 3 that means when you insert negative 3 in place of x here in the simplified form uh, it will be negative 1 over uh, negative 6 I think so it will be 1 over 6 so generally it will be having negative 3 1 over 6 at this point it will have a hole uh, this function now our function is after simplification we have to focus here it has vertical asymptote where at x is equal to 3 because the denominator part is 0 and it has horizontal asymptote since the degree of the numerator and the denominator are the same so I'll take the number in front of x they are since the degree is the same so it will be y is equal to 1 does it cross horizontal asymptote or not it will be another issue but it has horizontal asymptote and x intercept x intercept means by making equal to 0 or what does uh, the new where does the numerator will be zero the numerator part only because x intercept means making the y zero or everything zero so at x is equal to negative two so negative two comma zero and what about the y intercept the y intercept by substituting zero everywhere will get zero comma negative two over three so we have those things now we can roughly plot the graph we can use x y coordinate plane and then First, let's plot the vertical asymptote at 3. At 3, I'm going to draw a broke line here. You know, exactly at 3. And the horizontal asymptote is at 1. So we can have here also a horizontal asymptote. But the graph it may cross horizontal asymptote. It will never cross the vertical asymptote, obviously. But it may cross horizontal asymptote. How to check? Uh, take the number 1 and insert in place of x. I mean, make it equal to this is a horizontal the vertical i mean the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to one so the whole thing like x plus two over x minus three this is a function make it equal to one and solve it that means x plus two is equal to x minus three by crisscross so x cancelled out and so there will not be answer that means it can't cross this time this time it can't cross but sometimes it may cross the horizontal asymptote how to check it by this process so the behavior of this graph normally it doesn't cross I mean it has a hole at 3 at negative 3 negative 3 uh, negative 3 1 over 6 means somewhere around at the middle somewhere around here it will make a hole the graph will make a hole so I can make somewhere around here a hole it will not cross it and the x-intercept at negative 2 in the x-axis here it is it will cross the x-axis here it will make a hole don't forget and then uh, the y-intercept at negative 2 over 3 negative 2 over 3 means it's between negative 1 uh, and 0 somewhere around here it will cross also this one so the graph will go down here it's approaching and here it goes in this way but don't forget there is a hole here the graph cannot cross this part it come it was its hole and it cross the x-axis and again it crosses the y-axis also at two, negative 2 over 3 and then uh, there is no another uh, behavior but above 3 any number if you insert here it will be always positive above 3 after uh, x is equal to 3 how does the graph looks like if you insert any number like greater than 3 if you insert 4 4 it will be positive outcome so that the graph will be completely above the x-axis so it will stay here anyways the main thing this uh, function can be factorized and simplified and uh, it will have a hole and we can find vertical asymptote horizontal asymptote x-intercept y-intercept those things will be uh, discussed and this is a way how to sketch the next one find the multiplicative inverse of there is a complex number which is equal to 4 plus 3i so the inverse of this complex number will be 1 over of it 4 plus 3i for any number the multiplicative inverse will be 1 over of it but we cannot leave it as it is we have to uh, rationalize or we have to multiply by the conjugate that is 3 minus I mean 4 minus 3i the conjugate of 4 plus 3i will be 
4 minus 3i over 4 minus 3i we have to multiply it's going to be 4 minus 3i over the, up, the lower part will be you know 16 plus 9 we will square each of them then add when you multiply two complex numbers like they are conjugate of each other so it will be 4 minus 3i the whole over 25 finally uh, the real part will be 4 over 25 minus the imaginary part will be negative 3 over 25i it can be written in standard form in this way next question uh, solve uh, on the set of complex numbers solve the quadratic equation that is 2x square minus 3x plus 4 which is equal to 0 must be there so we can apply formula the a is 2 and the b negative 3 and the c 4 so what is the value of x negative b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac the whole over 2a so negative p means negative of negative 3 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 4 times 2 8 times 4 32 over 2a means over 4 which is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of uh, negative 20 square root of negative 23 yeah there should be negative 23 the whole over 4 but this can be written actually the number which is in the square root cannot be extracted simply but I can write this one as 3 plus or minus radical 23 I the negative I can keep it as I and then I can leave it as it is there will be two possible answer one plus the other one minus but complex number next next question uh, what are the values of x and y it says so there is 2x plus yi times i plus 1 is equal to 1 minus 2i okay the right part the right hand side has to be uh, rationalized and then let's do it we'll multiply by 2 plus i by the conjugate of the denominator part it's going to be 2 plus i over 4 plus 1 which is 5 so we can write it 2 over 5 plus 1 over 5i in standard form the left hand side let's distribute let's multiply this one with i and this one again with 1 so 2x times i will be 2xi 2x uh, plus 2x and again the y should multiply each of them y i times i will be negative y you know i times i will be i square so negative y remain uh, plus y i the right side what do we have you know so when you write this one in standard form what are the real, the real part these two the middle are real 2x minus y this is a real part plus the imaginary part are this the int 2x plus y then i keep outside which is equal to 2 over 5 plus 1 over 5i now these two complex number are already equal means we can equalize real with the real part the real part here 2x minus y which is equal to the right hand side of the real part that is 2x minus y is equal to 2 over 5 one equation the other one imaginary 2x plus y the imaginary which is equal to 1 fifth then we can add because to eliminate the x as you see that mean the y negative y plus y will be 0 when you add it and 2x plus 2x will be 4x which is equal to uh, 2 over 5 plus 1 over 5 will be 3 over 5 so if you divide by 4 both sides the x value will be 3 over 20 we got the x value this is x what about x we can take the first equation the first equation it says 2x minus y is equal to 2 over 5 but we know the x 3 over 20 when you bring it it will be 3 over 10 you know 2 times 3 over 20 will be 3 over 10 minus y is equal to 2 over 5 can do it and then by taking the y to the other side 3 over 10 minus 2 over 5 is equal to y if you multiply by 2 it will be 4 so negative 1 over 10 will be the value of y that's the way how we can do uh, the values of x and y next one modulus so here is a complex number and then we need to find the modulus of it 
z is equal to 1 over 3i minus 4 so the modulus of this complex number means the modulus of this one we can write this one as modulus of 1 over modulus of 3i minus 4 you know modulus of 1 or the magnitude of 1 is just 1 the lower part square root of 3 square plus uh, negative 4, is 4 square that is 9 plus 16 25 from the square root 5 so the answer will be 1 over 5 modulus means you know uh, square each and then add in the square root that's it uh, when it is uh, the, the rational I mean the given complex number might be found in the denominator doesn't matter we can do it by the whole by the property uh, what does the property says to make it clear uh, if we have z1 over z2 the modulus is the same as the modulus of the upper over the modulus of the lower so this time I have like the upper part by the way it's a complex number we can write it as 1 plus 0 i4 so the modulus will be just 1 that's why we can continue in that way okay next one uh, it says find the multiplicative inverse okay I think we did it yeah we did it so I can skip this part and let's go to the last one uh, what does the last question it says negative 4 3 in the square root plus 3 times square root of negative 27 plus again square root of negative 75 we have this and then we are asked to simplify so negative in the square root we can write it as i so i can write radical 3i plus 3 radical 27i plus 75 in the square root i just avoid the negative in the square root and keep it as i all and then take out the i common radical 3 plus 3 27 by itself you know it's 9 times 3 so 9 from the radical will be 3 radical 3 remain plus the same thing here 75 can be expressed as 25 times 3 and 25 from the radical is 5 5 radical 3 so i still there is outside root 3 plus 9 radical 3 plus 5 radical 3 again this uh, can be written radical 3 for each of them are common so we can keep it outside together with i uh, radical 3i outside what remain 1 plus 9 plus 5 remain so when you add it to be 15 15 radical 3i will be the simplest answer and that's it